Hi hey guys, welcome back to another video in this channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of the newest features inside of Maya, which is the new Live Boolean system. So um, this is a really, really interesting, it's going to be a short video, it's not, there, there's not a lot of information about it, but it's really, really cool, it has a lot of stuff that you guys are, are going to love. So uh, as you guys know, Booleans are a mathematical operation that we can do to... Uh, like intra or to have several objects interact with each other, right? So let's start with something like really simple. I'm just going to create a cube right here. I'm going to move it to like there, right? So very commonly, we would select one object, select the other one, go into mesh, booleans and say difference A minus B. So we're going to uh, we're going to remove the second object that we selected from the first object. OK, and uh, this is what we used to get. Now, in Maya 2023, which is the version that I'm using right now, the Boolean system has been completely overdone or overhauled, I think it's the word. And uh, it now works in a very similar fashion to how it works in Seaverse. So if you've never used Seaverse, but you've seen the live Boolean things that Seaverse has, and you want to give it a, a shot. Now you can do it. And the way this works is, as you can see, we're going to get this stack over here and all of the elements, like in this case, this second cube will go into the stack and we're going to be able to select which operation we want the object to do, how we want that guy to display, and if we want to enable or disable the Boolean operation. Uh, and the cool thing is this cube exists right here. Right now we're only seeing like the wireframe, but if I move this around, as you can see, the um, the whole operation is just going to be there. And we can add more stuff. Let's say we add like a, like a cylinder right here and we do the same thing. So I'm going to say select this one, select this one, and then you say mesh Boolean difference. So now I have another cylinder here on the stack and at any point I can just move this around and create like a, like a new shape, right? So I don't know, maybe we're doing like this sort of like a jigsaw puzzle or something and we need to create this. You can rotate this around, you can like scale this, you can do whatever you want because this thing remembers that it's on the stack and we're going to be able to do this sort of thing. Let me show you another like really cool stuff. Um, this guys, by the way, will interact with each other. So as you can see right here, the uh, additions or there will be additions. So in this case, as you can see, uh, we have this. And one thing that I really like is that the pivot points and everything remain there. So we can snap things and, and make this things way, way more exact. So for instance, I can just snap this to the corner there and then snap this one to that corner right there. Let's move this down. And there we go. So now it's a very like balanced, uh, balance look for the for the whole thing um, at any point of course if you delete the history everything gets erased and now this is a single geometry that you can work with um i always tell my students that booleans are not that great because uh, of course the angons but sometimes booleans can work uh, for instance 3d printing you can use booleans no problem um you can do high polys with this and then bake them down into low polys so booleans do have a place in in the workflow it's just that you need to really understand what you're doing to make sure that you're doing things uh in the best possible way so let's go back here before we erase this because there's a couple of new uh, Boolean operations that I think you guys uh, are going to really like. So let's create like another Boolean over here. Uh, back in Maya 2022, we only had four operations. We had uh, addition, subtraction, intersection, and I think that's it. So now there's a couple more. If we select these two guys, I'm going to say um, same thing, mesh, let's bring this thing. So still, we still have union, which is going to like combine both objects. But here's the kicker. Now we can change this in real time. We can say A minus B. So we remove one from the other. Or we can say B minus A. Uh, back in the in 2022, it was impossible to change this. You, you would need to be very sure about what kind of... Um, order you were selecting because there was no going back. But as you can see right here, this one looks pretty, pretty cool. There's another operation that I really, 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 really like. Well, of course, we have the intersection. So we're going to get whatever is intersecting, which could get uh, you some interesting shapes, as you can see right there. But there's this really cool one, which is the hole punch. So the hole punch will cut the piece out of the object and it will leave a hole behind just like this. So if we want to like cut a hole inside of that sphere, there we go. And remember, as, as we mentioned, like this is this is interac interactive, right? So maybe we want to add like more holes in here. So I can say this one, this one, and we're going to say hole punch. So now, as you can see, we are cutting a hole from uh, the sphere right there. Uh, where is it? Uh, cut out. Let's do cut out. Let's try cut out first. It is trying to do the operation. Maybe the stack is, is a little bit wrong. Or am I selecting the wrong sphere? Oh, that's really weird. You guys know that it can be buggy, right? But uh, let me let me grab a couple of other ones to show you because that cut uh, feature is pretty, pretty cool. So you've seen guns when, when they have the sort of like uh, cylindrical cutouts sometimes right on the sides of the, of the gun. So we can always do that with the division. But if we do this like here, 
select A, B, and do um, a hole punch, and then just bring this in. And there we go. So now what we're doing is we're using the cylinder, as you can see, to cut a hole in the surface. And we're not letting or leaving anything in there, right? Like we're not leaving any any sort of geometry. So this is going to be a hollow surface. You can see that it's triangulating right there. And again, it's pretty, pretty cool that we can do this sort of stuff because it, it, it saves a lot of time and it gives us a lot more flexibility. Um, you would still need to, again, rebuild the, the things right here or, or make sure that it it's working with whatever production pipeline you're using, but it's pretty, pretty cool. The other one that's quite nice as well is, uh, let me, let me select another shape. Let's, let's do the history on this guy. Another one that's pretty, pretty cool that I really liked was the intersection. No, not the intersection, the slice. So sometimes, uh, imagine that we have, I don't know, like a weird surface right here, right? Like this guy. And then we have another guy like up here. And we need to connect them with like a very weird shape, very weird shape. Let's say it's going to be like a, like a cone shape or something. Right? And we want to create like some sort of tunnel with like a cone shape effect. So we can select, uh, let's duplicate this cone, first of all. So I'm going to select this, this guy, this guy, and I'm going to say a slice. So now what this will do is we will slice the face with the shape that the object has, which in this case, it's that uh, cube. Again, at any point, I can just delete history. And now that face, for instance, we can delete it. And we have the shape of the cone right there. Of course, we have the inner faces as well. Uh, but it's it's a very, very cool thing because now we can do the same thing over here. Let's try and do this as well. So slice, delete history. We grab this little guy right here. And now it's just a matter of maybe grabbing like this edges right here and bridging them to the other side, right? Let's like connect this uh, or combine this into a single object. I'm gonna grab one, two, three, one, two, three. And technically our bridge should work right there. It's not working maybe because the edges are not properly laid out, but now the shape is at least working. So technically we should be able to just stroke this thing around and, and create like a nice little bridge. I just think it's neat. It's, it's, it's neat to have all of these tools and it's pretty, pretty cool that now all of these elements are way, way more uh, flexible than what we had before. So yeah, that, that's pretty much it guys. That's, that's pretty much the, the, um, the, the new thing here with light booleans, it's a, uh, Again, it's a very nifty tool. We have a Boolean. I did a Boolean demo last year. So if you want to check our videos, we did this sort of like a gun revolver chamber. And uh, it looks, uh, I think it, it, it works pretty well. If you want to check this out and utilize the new Boolean tools, then I think you guys are going to have a, quite a fun time. Now, uh, I'm going to be um, a little bit busy this weekend. So I'm, I can't assure you that I will be able to upload uh, videos for Saturday and Sunday. But I'll, I'll try my best. It might not be here in the studio uh, because I'm going to be moving around town for, for a little bit. So, yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Okay, guys? But if not, if I, if I for any reason, I can't upload any video, uh, don't worry. I'll be back here on Monday with more 3D content. We're about to start April as well. So we're going to have like an April calendar video to just to uh, showcase what we're about to be doing. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Leave us any comments, like, share, subscribe. You know the drill, guys. I'll see you back on the next one. Bye-bye.